You'll see it as you enter. Oh, it's really spectacular. A gigantic mural by Seattle artist Angelina Villalobos. One of dozens of pieces of art now taking off at the Museum of Flight. Art plus flight connects our region's vibrant art scene to our rich aerospace history. The Red Barn, where Boeing was born, will also be an art gallery for the next six months. With work that will take you to the final frontier, or maybe the planet right next door. Uh, it's called Life on Mars. This is actually a, a real photo of Mars. There was a real craft sticking out here and I painted it out because it got in the way of my illusion. So I put my own craft in there, which is a, a twisty balloon octopus. I used to want to go into space when I was a kid. And uh, that didn't happen, but I went this way. There's even an artist in residence. Harriet Salmon weaves wood and aviation history together. And so I'm uh, using pieces of airplanes, small aircraft. So this is like a um, part of a rudder or a stabilizer from the tail of a small airplane. And I'm weaving natural materials into the uh, armature of it. When you consider the first flying machines were made of wood and fabric, Harriet's hand-woven plane parts have landed in the perfect place. I love to figure out how things are made and the, like, the thought of having the Boeing factory right here, like I want to do a tour, it's just, it kind of makes sense for me. These high-flying creations prove that whether you're an aviation engineer or an artist, the sky is not the limit. I always knew I wanted to be an artist, and so coming and seeing my art big in a museum is like that validation that I am the artist, so I love that.